We are Nick and Beck, and this is our van, Valerie. Come explore Alberta with us as we travel through the Badlands to explore the history of dinosaurs in Alberta. I'm excited, I want to see a T-Rex. We went to the Royal Tyrrell Museum before heading west to Calgary to explore the city a bit. We then made our way to Lake Louise and explored the stunning landscapes. If you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe to stay tuned for all of our adventures. We hope you enjoy this week's episode. Hello guys, welcome back. We are, well we're in the van, but we're at a beautiful campground, aka the Walmart. We had a good night's sleep. We are actually gonna head to the local dinosaur museum here in Drumheller, Alberta. Um, so after we see the museum, um, we're gonna head probably towards Calgary, visit some friends and family. And then from there, we don't exactly know what's gonna happen. We may actually stay in Calgary for a couple days. We'll see, but uh, yeah, I'm excited. I want to see a T-Rex. We'll uh, we'll get out of here and we'll catch up with you guys at the museum. There wasn't enough parking up top there, but they do have this giant lot down here for RVs and motorhomes and little baby sprinters parked back there. finished the Terrell Dinosaur Museum here. Um, it was actually really neat. They had several different skeletons of just very large, incredibly looking animals or dinosaurs. That was neat. We tried to get as good footage as we could. It was packed. There was a lot There's of a people lot of in there. People and a lot of kids. Yes, and the kids were just <laughs> everywhere. Like kids would just run past us and like hit the camera out of my hands. So anyway. It was so fun. It was fun. I'm glad we did it. If we were to do it again, I would probably be here at 9 a.m. when they open because uh, it was pretty busy. But anyway, we're gonna walk back to the van somewhere down there and then we get on the road towards Calgary. So, catch you guys in the van. How we doing, Captain? Batting, bat, batting down the hatches. Just battening down the hatches. I don't know what the saying is. Batten down the Batten hatches. Batten down the hatches. Hit the road. Off to Calgary. Calgary, here we come. All 
Alright guys, welcome back. So we just finished the drive from Drumheller to Calgary. I believe we're in the south end of Calgary. Uh, so yeah, we're here. Uh, we are actually at my aunt Heather's house. So she's been gracious enough to let us stay here for a night or two. And um, that's where we're going to be. So we're going to kind of try to explore Calgary. We have the bikes. There's bike trails nearby. But uh, as far as everything goes, we're just going to chill tonight, relax. Uh, maybe go out to dinner, but we're going to leave you guys here. So we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow morning and uh, we'll start our day together tomorrow. Good morning. It's actually not the morning though. It's like probably 12 or 1. It was a little late day, but that's fine. Um, we're going on a bike ride around a park that we don't know the name of. It's a big park going through Calgary, because um, we're just in a little subdivision where it has like an access path to the park. So we're gonna go bike there, and that's it for yeah. now. We'll see so, how it goes. There's tons of bike trails where we're about to go. There's some paved trails. There's also lots of single track, which are like dirt trails, and uh, yeah, we don't really know what we're getting into. Well, we didn't last long. <laughs> There's construction across a bridge. I, I don't know, it goes across the river. And I guess, I don't know if the path goes over or under or what. Anyway, it's closed. They have it all closed off, so we're gonna go back the same way we came. We looked on a map and the trail system really only like gets big when you go across the bridge and there's no way for us to get there unless we scale the side of a cliff and cross a six lane highway, <laughs> which we're not gonna do. So back up the giant hill we bike down. Yay. So. Time to go back up the hill. I'll follow you so that the camera gets to watch the struggle. The struggle of the hill. Okay, we're back in the van. So we put the bikes away and now we're going somewhere. I don't know. Nick put the address in. You can hear the GPS. I've got the GPS set to take us to the zoo parking lot. So. Oh yes. That's where we're gonna park because it's a lot more accessible than like a probably street parking or anything downtown and that's what Nick's aunt recommended because you can walk wherever from there. So, As you can imagine the van doesn't exactly fit in underground parking lots so we have to find above ground parking and I have a feeling that Calgary is going to be pretty condensed as a city probably not many above ground parking lots so to the zoo we go. Back to van life. So it's kind of the middle of the day now. We left Nick's aunt in Calgary, drove to Banff. Um, as we were going, the smoke got pretty bad. You couldn't see much. When we got to Banff, we went for a little bike ride and Nick wore a chest mount. <laughs> the angle was pretty much only his knees and the handlebars and he also had it on a time lapse. So 
this is what it looks like. <laughs> Hyper speed. So we didn't really do much around Banff just because the air quality warnings were pretty bad. And we were kind of just like exploring the town for ourselves. There's probably lots of other videos on Banff if you want to watch something about Banff. But um, yeah, we're going to drive to Lake Louise, spend the night there, and then um, we'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning! Jeez, no nudity. We are parked somewhere. We're parked by the train station. Um, it's in, like a in little... Lake in Lake Louise. It's like a little entryway to the river. Probably can't see it, but the river's right there. And some bike trails, apparently. So, we got the bikes out. We're gonna go for a bike ride. See what we can see. Anything else to say? Nice timing. Um, it's about 4.9 kilometers, I believe, is what the sign said from here to Lake Louise one way. So I think that's what we're going to do as our daily bike ride. So we're just going to kind of hop on the bikes and try to bike this 10 kilometer loop. Um, it's not actually a loop, it's the same way in as it is out. But uh, anyway, hopefully we can see some of Lake Louise. I know I would show you kind of. Oh, yes. So way off in the distance, that is what we see as far as mountain range today. So smoke is a little better, but still it's not great. Anyway, I'm gonna change the camera battery because it's gonna die, so catch you guys on the trail. Made it to Lake Louise. It was probably, well, the map said five kilometers to the parking lot, and then it was about another kilometer to the actual lake. Um, so, anyway, about six kilometers, and every single pedal was uphill. <laughs> so, anyway, Becky and I, our legs are done. Um, but the whole way home is going to be downhill, so that's pretty neat. As you guys can see, the view, it's, it's pretty, but uh, it's, it's not what smoky. it's supposed to be. Yeah. So, you really can't see that much. Um, so apparently there is a cabin right up there. It is right about there. You can't really see it today just because of the smoke, but uh, it is there. Probably start biking back here in a minute and uh, catch you guys probably back with the van. down there, not even that far. Crazy. It's a lot faster going downhill. Anything you want to say? I'm so happy that it was downhill. <laughs> All right, let's get these loaded up and hit the road. Thanks, Bax. Is there any for you? We have to share. It's the only one cheaper bottle. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Going for a swim? Going for a swim. Let's Bird go. Dip. Oh, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was cold. <laughs> that is some cold water. All right, let's go back. Come on. It's cold. My bones hurt. Ow. Well, that water's not warm by oh. any means. We're just Maybe it's not that bad the second time you go in. It's definitely refreshing. So, anyway, let's uh, let's dry it off and hit the road. Okay, we're back on the highway now because we didn't realize there was gonna be like. Well, we kind of did. We don't have anything for dinner tonight, so we were gonna stop and get stuff in Lake Louise when we were there, but it was packed like packed you couldn't even park in the parking lot you could barely drive through the parking lot so anyway we are gonna drive to golden because we're actually in bc <laughs> we drove past the sign and we were both like oh we're in bc so yeah we're headed to golden bc um place that i did want to visit and we actually spoke to the parks employee and he said that this highway which is the highway that goes basically through golden through revelstoke and into like Kamloops and the Okanagan Valley, uh, it is open. And he said, like, sadly, like you will see fires on the road um, off in the distance, but the road is open and you will not be close enough to, to be in danger. So it's really pretty, it's very smoky, but it's really, really neat to look out the sides and to see all these different places where the avalanches have happened in the past, um, probably on a yearly basis, honestly, these are very steep mountains. Anyway, we're gonna keep on moving. Alright guys, well we made it to the campground and it is hot, 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 hot here. Um, there's really no wind at all, we're kind of in like the middle of a bunch of different mountains, so a valley, really big valley. But uh, anyway, it literally looks like a desert outside, the grass is just, you know, not much life left in it. But anyway, you guys are in for a treat tonight, so usually you guys see Becky making dinner. Tonight you're gonna watch me make dinner. So anyway, we're making tacos, so let's get going. It is, oh yeah, it is like a billion degrees outside. We're both very warm. Um, like we said before, there's just no wind. But we'll 
we'll kind of show you. So there's some of the mountains there. There are some mountains right there. You can just barely see them through the smoke. And then on this side, again, you can barely see it through the smoke. There's a big mountain top right there. And an even bigger one over there. And uh, there is the river flowing right here. Um, so I'm assuming it's probably some sort of glacier water. Uh, so it's probably pretty cold, which is perfect. Maybe nothing. Maybe I should take that advice, go get a life, or maybe get a job or something. Pack it up and head back home, tell everybody I was bluffing. Or maybe I'll just get out my head and focus on what I know's coming. Yeah. Cause I can't fall asleep at night without seeing my dreams. Delusion and reality, I'm somewhere in between. These voices in my head get loud and they keep telling me that I'm a fool for trusting in these wings. themselves crazy tonight <laughs> baby i should call and say told you i'll be right wondering how long it was before you realized the biggest mistake of your life and now you're paying the price oh is it confidence or confusion either way i feel like i ain't never losing your opinion of mine, you know just what i'm choosing i gotta do this cause i can't fall asleep at night without seeing my dreams Delusion and reality, I'm somewhere in between These voices in my head get loud and they keep telling me That I'm a fool for trusting in these wings Okay, we're heading back to the van now The river was nice, but it's honestly like we swam in the river, like Bow River I think it is but this is like much colder, much colder. And it's going really fast. But it was nice and cool down here because the river just brings all the cold air. So it was nice to cool down and we're gonna go back to 